G'day, I'm Jim, and today I'm going to show you how to make this brazier, or fire pit, out of an old washing machine. The drum out of a front-loading washing machine is ideal for this, as the orientation of the drum means that it's short and squat and perfect for a fire. You can use the drum out of a top-loading washing machine, but given the orientation is vertical, it means the drum is quite deep, which makes it very difficult to reach in to position new logs when managing the fire. The first step is to remove the barrel from the washing machine. This is just a matter of undoing any screws, nuts or bolts you find. Probably the most difficult part is actually removing the concrete weights that surround the barrel. You've just got to take your time and have a look around the barrel and just remove everything that you see that is connecting the barrel to the washing machine. Once it's removed, you can see there's very little required to actually get it to the final stage. It's just a matter of attaching the legs. A good friend of mine had already done this before and he actually welded a frame for this barrel to sit in. But I noticed that there was three equidistant holes on the outside that would house some legs if I found a way to attach them. So I simply got a piece of stainless steel bar and cut it into three lengths of 300 mil. Next I secured them in the truck of my drill so that I could spin them evenly and then took the end to the grinder to reduce the diameter to a size that would fit into the holes. Then I would cut the threads so they would take a nut to secure them to the barrel. If you notice the holes drilled in the ends of these, that's actually from a failed attempt at using split pins to secure them before I cut the thread. I found that it wasn't stable enough and since this is going to be a fire pit, I want them to be nice and stable. So in the same logic, rather than simply using nuts to secure these, I then went and actually added washers to make it a more secure fit so that it was much more stable. I was really happy with the way this turned out. It was really easy to use, it was very safe. In fact, the entire time I used it, not a single coal fell from the tub and landed on the grass at all. It was well contained the entire weekend that I went camping and took it out for a test run. Because of the design of the tub with all the holes and being stainless steel, the fire actually heated the outside quite well and it radiated heat out at 360 degrees. It was really nice to sit around with a few mates around the fire and all be warm. It was actually a more even heat than an open fire, so it worked really well in that regard. If you've got any questions around the build, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And of course, consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this. Also, to all my existing subscribers, I thank you again for all your continued support. And until next time, take it easy.